Welcome to my first video of 2021. Today we're going to be looking at some tips and tricks for PVM and PVP using RuneLight features and plugins. What we'll be having a look at today is tile markers and tile indicators, inventory tags, key binds in conjunction with key remapping, and NPC indicators. I'll then run you through some tips and tricks for PVM and PVP. Some of the features and plugins we look at will help, but essentially we're looking at the way we navigate through the interfaces in PVP and PVM situations. The first feature we'll have a look at today are the tile indicators and the tile markers. So in your plugin list we'll have a look at the tile indicators. The colours at the top are all personal preference, however I like to select highlight hover tile as well as destination tile. With the hover tile you'll see there's a shading under my mouse which shows you which tile you are hovering over. The destination tile will also show you a green box when you select the tile. So what this does is let you know which tile your character is heading towards and in conjunction with tile marking you can make sure you are clicked on the correct tile. To mark a tile we need to hold shift and right click on the tile and then select mark. What this will do is highlight the tile. This is really useful for bossing where we can mark certain tiles we need to be standing on or moving towards. You can also use it for highlighting safe spots in other situations. Using mark tiles in combination with destination tiles is really useful. As you can see in here the green box is appearing on the tiles I have marked which does show that my character is moving to the correct location. The next feature we'll have a look at are the inventory tags. So we'll search for the inventory tags plugin in the RuneLine client. What we have here is a list of different colors. Again, this is all personal preference. We also have the option to outline or underline the inventory tags. So what we need to do here, we need to right click on our inventory, select configure inventory tags, we then need to right click over the items and then select what group we'd like to put them in. In this example here, I'm marking my rain switch in a green group. Once we're finished, we'll right click on the inventory again and save inventory tags. What you'll see now is that my rain switch is all in green and my magic switch is all in blue. So you'll see it stands out really clearly here. When I haven't switched correctly, my mage cape highlighted in blue is not on correctly. I really like the inventory tags feature for gear switching. As you can see, it makes the selection of your switch much easier as it is highlighted. My biggest tip here is just practice, practice, practice. Whenever you get a chance, practice your clicking and practice your gear switching. We will now have a look at the key binding and key remapping. So we'll go into settings, all settings, and then down into key binds. What we're looking at doing here is moving our interface to a F1 key. This is much, much quicker than clicking. Again, the assignment of these is personal preference, but this is how I like to have them set up. And what we'll do with the key binds in conjunction with the key remapping, what we can do is remap our keys so that F1 is the one key, F2 is the two key and vice versa. I find this much easier to use as the keys that are numerical are much bigger on my keyboard than the F1 keys. Using the key binds to navigate your interface is a little tricky at first. However, I recommend you keep at it and continue to practice as it is essential for high level PVM. It's much faster to move through the interface using the remap keys than it is to click on your prayer interface, select your prayer, click on inventory and select your gear. The last feature we'll have a look at is the NPC indicator. This one is really useful for highlighting NPCs. Firstly, you can highlight to see the hit zone of the NPC so you're clicking correctly to attack and you can also select to show the tiles the boss is taking up which is also useful for safe spotting. Now that we've had a look at the most useful features, later in the video I'll show you how to use these in practice. Now I'll give you a bit of a rundown on the order we need to run through the interfaces in PVM and PVP situations. The first thing we should be looking at is character movement. So in PVM that means moving our character away from danger. In PVP that generally means freezing. Then we should be moving to our prayer switches, so our attack boost and our protection prayers. We'll then be moving to our inventory and our gear switches. And lastly, we'll be attacking our opponent or using a special attack. Now we'll have a look at those four steps in a practical situation here at Zolra. So the first step is movement. You can see I've got the tile marked, so I know where I need to go. I'll now select to walk here to start my movement. Once the movement starts, 
I can now press my 2 key to switch to my prayer interface. I can then change my protection prayers and attack boosting prayers as necessary. You'll also see the tile indicator has gone green to show I have selected the right tile. Once the movement commences and I've fixed my prayers, the next key bind is number 3, which moves me to my inventory. Now we're on the inventory interface, we need to do our gear switch. This is where our inventory tags come in useful, identifying the items we need to click to switch. Once we are in the correct location, with the correct prayers on, the correct gear on, the final step is now to attack the boss. You'll see here the NPC indicator is highlighting the attack zone of Zora as well as the tiles it is taking up. We will now look at an example at 50% speed. So step one is our movement. We use our key bind to go to the prayer interface, select the correct prayers, key bind to go to our inventory, select the correct gear. Once we're in the correct location, with the correct prayers and the correct gear, we attack the boss. I'll show you one final example, and this one here is played at 80% speed. The key here is just practice. Don't be afraid of dying, don't be afraid of making mistakes, just keep practicing over and over again, and slowly but surely, you will get better at mastering all of these interface movements. We'll have a look now at applying this to PvP situations. So the first thing you generally want to do in PvP is to freeze your opponent. So once we've got our freeze on our opponent, the movement through the interface is much the same. Our next move after we're freezing is to change our prayers. So prayer switch happens first. After our prayer switch is done, we'll move to the gear switch. Once the gear switch is done, we will then attack our opponent. It's really popular in PvP to change your prayers first, as this hides what you're doing from your opponent. It's really important you're comfortable with your keybinds, particularly in PvP, so practice your interface movement using your keybinds and make sure you're really comfortable with these. I mentioned earlier the keybind setting is personal preference, but this is how I set mine up. For me, it makes logical sense and I move through these from right to left. So my keybind 1 is my freeze, key 2 is my prayers, key 3 is my inventory, and key 4 is my attack. I have these ordered like this as this is generally the order I roll through the movements in, and I think it's a pretty simple way to remember them. Here are some further examples of this at full speed. So what I do is I change my prayer first, then my gear, then attack my opponent. Now just adding the special attack into this, it's the same idea that we change our prayer first, then our gear. Now we're going to add in the keybind 4, which will bring us to our special attack interface. Here is one last example putting that all together. Prayer change first, then gear change, attack opponent, Prayer change, gear change, special attack opponent. So that is the end of the video for today. Hopefully some of the rune light features I've shown have helped. Also hopefully you've picked up a few tips and tricks that you can use in your own PVM and PVP situations.